Valve selection is an important part of good design and maintenance practices for industrial fluid system piping and instrumentation systems. Without the right valve for your application, you could face poor system performance, increased downtime, and safety risks. Valves are typically chosen during initial design of your system and are usually replaced one-to-one -one during maintenance. This means that making the right selection at the initial stage is critical, but how can you be sure you're making the right choice? Follow the stamped method, which accounts for size, temperature, application, media, pressure, and connections, and delivery. Here's how to apply this approach to valve selection. First, determine the size you need. Your valve's size dictates its flow capacity and will need to correspond to your system's required flow rate. Manufacturers typically provide a flow coefficient indicating the relationship between pressure drop across the valve and the corresponding flow rate. The larger your valve's orifice, the greater the potential flow capacity. For example, ball valves offer minimal flow resistance, but a needle valve may restrict or slow your flow. Second, consider temperature. This includes the temperature of your system media and that of your operating environment. Ask yourself, will temperatures be constant or will they change frequently? Temperature fluctuations may cause sealing materials to expand and contract. Next, think about your application. Do you need to start or stop flow or regulate flow in some way? Control the direction of flow. What about protecting your system from overpressure? A two-way ball valve is a good choice for on-off functionality, but not for regulating flow. If you need to regulate flow, a better option might be a needle or metering valve. Once you know what you need your valve to do, think about your system media. Be sure your fluid is compatible with the materials that make up your valve bodies, seats, stem tips, and other soft materials. Incompatibility can lead to corrosion or embrittlement issues, which can lead to failure. Next is pressure. Think about the two different contexts in which we consider pressure. First, working pressure is the normal operating pressure of your system. Second is design pressure, which is the valve's maximum pressure limit as specified by the manufacturer. A fluid system's pressure limitation is based on its lowest rated component. It is critically important to never exceed the design pressure of any fluid system component. Be sure your valves are rated properly for your operational needs. Now consider end connections. A variety of different end connections are available, such as those shown and others. Make sure your end connections are appropriate for your system's pressure and temperature. Also make sure they're sized correctly. The right end connection can simplify installation and avoid potential leak points. Finally, ask yourself, when do I need these valves and how many do I need? As the final step of the stamped method, make sure your valve supplier can deliver the parts you need when you need them and will work to understand your needs. At Swagelock, we offer a complete selection of valves suitable to all sorts of demanding fluid system applications. For more information about valve selection, contact your local authorized Swagelock Sales and Service Center or visit swagelock.com.